Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The GTRS Kaveri effort may have failed to yield a usable fighter class low bypass after burning tower fan engine but its core is being developed further and is quite usable and stable and the learning has been significant. In my opinion, GTRE has been successful in developing the core of the engine or we can say engine without after burner. We must appreciate the efforts despite the delays and limited budget for the program. This will be a stepping stone for India's futuristic engine development program of 110 kN or higher thrust engines which will power the future fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about the dry Kaveri engine and DRDO's plan for the future development and application of this engine. The dry Kaveri is the Kaveri's derivative power plant for Indian unmanned air vehicle like Ghatak and Fufa. It is a non afterburning tower fan engine. The engine is based on Kaveri engine architecture with a specific indigenous modules such as high inlet distortion tolerant fan, indigenous engine fuel control system, automatic FADEC and modified jet pipe. The dry Kaveri can generate dry thrust of 46 kN, weighs around 1180 kgs with SFC of 0.824 kg per hour per kgf. SFC is the quantity of fuel burned in unit time required to produce a given engine output. For dry Kaveri, it means it can consume 0.824 kg of fuel per hour to produce the rated or desired thrust which is quite efficient for its category. In past, we have heard of various issues related to Kaveri engine. This is not an indicator of project failure but part of the development of any engine program. Now, as for the latest updates, the problem of Kaveri engine has been solved and only high altitude tests are remaining. One of the major issues with Kaveri engine was the flutter of the blades. Flutter was related to all the blades used in the engine. Various methods have been deployed for successful resolution of the flutter issue. Other issues with Kaveri engine related to fan, HP compressor, LP turbine, combustor, afterburner and screech issue has also been resolved. If we talk about the present status of Kaveri, the technology demonstrator engine has been realized and performance and operability of engine at GTRE have been successfully demonstrated. GTRE has planned the performance and operational test across the flight envelope in altitude test facility in 2022. The initial flight release IFR certification of the engine is planned to be completed by 2024. Now one of the major challenges with the engine development is high altitude test facility, flying test bed and environmental test facilities and full scale module test facilities. At present, DRDO does not have facility for simulation of engine that will work at an altitude of 40,000 to 50,000 feet above the ground. The engine had undergone testing in past in Russia on many occasions over the years. GTRE is ready with the engine and is eagerly waiting for simulated high altitude tests. Designers working on the Kaveri dry engine explain that simulated tests basically simulate the high altitude conditions on the ground itself. Once dry Kaveri engine clears the simulated high altitude test, GTRE will position the engine in the flying test bed, which is modified Elushin IL-76 fixed wing aircraft with four turbofan engine. The dry Kaveri engine will replace one of the IL-76 four engines in the FTB. However, India's dependence on Russia for conducting the simulated high altitude trial and the flight test are causing further delay due to the ongoing conflict between the Russia and Ukraine. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.